You see how sore they were like, girl, what the hell is going on here? Well, they didn't say that, but like, I feel like that's what they thought. Hey all, and you're welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Priscilla, and on here we discuss everything, education and lifestyle. This is going to be a quick video. One question I've been getting from my old um, pharmacy school interview video, which will be somewhere up here. People have been asking me, how do I get ready for a pharmacy school interview if I have applied to medical school or dental school? And just before that, a quick one. I'm a dental student at the moment, but in my cycle, I have by two and got into UCL School of Pharmacy. So that's the background I speak from, that's the experience I speak with. I have done and passed both the entry test, the UCL Pharmacy entry test and the M-Farm interview. So think about it. The first thing is they have invited you to pharmacy interview because they think you are a potential candidate for their pharmacy school. And one thing you also need to be aware of is that this is not a joke. You put pharmacy as your second choice, not because you just thought of putting that down. You might actually find yourself going to pharmacy school if you don't get into dentistry or if you don't get into medicine, okay? I know people who apply to medicine and de or dentistry and had pharmacy as their second choice. And right now they're pharmacists. This could become your reality. You can find yourself actually going to pharmacy school. So all you should be thinking about is how do I get myself into pharmacy school with this interview? I just wanted to make this clear. This is not a joke. Don't think you're going to turn up to your pharmacy interview without preparing. You just applied just because and you just ended up getting an interview just because. I made sure that I prepared for my um, pharmacy interview just as much as I prepared for my dental school interview. Like, they have invited you to interview because they've seen your personal statement and they think you are a potential fit for their school of pharmacy. This is a big thing. In my cycle and with UCL Pharmacy, with UCAS, you can only submit one um, personal statement. So I submitted my dental school personal statement. They read it and they knew what is she talking about like yeah, this is a dental school personal statement and so they emailed me and asked me to send a dedicated personal statement for pharmacy so in that case i had two personal statements one for dental school and one for UCL School of Pharmacy. I don't know if they still do that. I don't know if other universities do that, but I got the choice to do that, thank God. Get in the mind frame and start preparing as a pharmacy student, okay, or as a prospective pharmacy student. You're there to interview to become a pharmacist, that's it. In that moment, just totally forget that you've even applied to dental school or medical school. That's how you walk into the interview and make sure that you present yourself in a good light that makes them want to offer you a spot. Because like I said, it's very, very much likely if you've applied that you might end up studying pharmacy. So again, this is not a joke. Don't walk in there thinking you're just going to mess it up and walk out. You could end up, this could end up becoming your reality. So make sure that you fight for your spot. You're just as deserving as anybody else over there. If you've done any independent research on your own, if you've done an EPQ, anything that's based on something scientific, you can talk about that as well. Think about relevance and think about appropriateness, okay? So everything you say should be relevant to you becoming a pharmacist, should be relevant to you um, becoming a potential pharmacy student, okay? Make sure that you've looked up a governing body or UK pharmacists. Make sure that you know the skills that they require of a good pharmacy. Just basic questions like that. Why pharmacy? Sit back and think about why and make some points about why you decided to put pharmacy as your second choice. Why do you think you would be a suitable candidate for pharmacy if you did get into it? Jot down a few transferable skills, so things like people skills, eye for detail, being empathetic. They're both healthcare majors, they're both things that are highly focused on science and on patient care. Think about the skills that you have that would make you suitable as a medical or dental student and then rephrase them but in a way that would make you suitable as a pharmacist or as a pharmacy student okay these other qualities like teamwork problem solving a good eye for detail there's so many transferable skills that you can talk about but like i said before make sure that you're presenting your case as to why you would be a good pharmacy student unless they specifically ask you about your other options there's no reason why you should have to well i see no reason why you should have to mention your application to medical or dental school it's a pharmacy school interview. They're there to assess your suitability and to be a good pharmacist in the future. They're not there to ask you about any other applications that you've made. I wasn't asked that in my pharmacy school interview and I don't see why they would ask you that in yours. But if they do, then maybe that's the only time where you could just briefly mention it. You think and medicine and pharmacy are very much intertwined. You think that working either as a pharmacist and or working as a medical doctor, it's imperative to work in a multidisciplinary team and you feel like your skills and experiences make you suitable to apply to both 
both fields. But again, I say this with caution because I do not see why they should ask you that at all. You're there to interview for pharmacy school. But if they do, this is something you could say. Just make sure that you're honing in the fact that you have transferable skills for both um, industry, well, not industries, for both um, careers, and you think that you would be well suited um, with the experiences and skills and research you've done. I hope at this point you're just a bit more confident in what to say and how to present yourself at your pharmacy interview even if you apply to medical school or dental school. They invited you to their pharmacy school interview because they feel like you could be a good candidate for their pharmacy school. So make sure that you turn up and you show up for yourself. Just talk about things that are transferable, but without you having to mention that this is just a second choice for you. Because it's, it's not like you're there to interview to actually potentially get into their school of pharmacy. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it's just cleared any doubts you have in your mind. In my um, UCL interview, I didn't have to mention anything about being a dental student. Like, I was there to interview to get into pharmacy school, and that's how it should be for you as well. So make sure that you're prepared, make sure that you've looked at the governing body of UK pharmacists, make sure that you know the good qualities of a good pharmacist, make sure that you know um, about any ethical scenarios and how you would behave in them. Just make sure that you're ready for a pharmacy school interview. I hope it goes well for you, and I hope that you prepare yourself adequately for it. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to run through them. And yeah, all the best, good luck and get in.